to the stage, Deputy Director of the Illinois Office of Tourism, Mr. Daniel Thomas. Well, hello again, everyone. Um, how fantastic was that session uh, with Eric, talking about talent? And I think, you know, when you've got a destination like the state of Illinois that has the diversity of the product and offering, that's an amazing start. But as I said this morning, the most important thing is our industry and tourism is nothing without talent and people. So I'd love to give a shout out to Eric for really focusing on that and giving us tangible tools to take away from today's conference. So let's give him a great round of applause. You know, when we talk about talent, the other secret ingredient is leadership. And um, I would like to uh, invite and we introduced J.D. D'Alfonso, the chief executive for Discover Peoria last night. But you know, when you put on a conference like this, uh, it takes an incredible team, and it's been wonderful to be here in Peoria for the first time. And so let's give J.D. Uh, a great round of applause. Good morning. Uh, it's great to see all of you again this morning. Thank you again for being here in, in Peoria, my hometown. I get to present to you here today and introduce our special guest here, but also not just in the host city, but on behalf of the Illinois Destinations Association, uh, formerly ICCVB. Uh, so we're, we're proud to call ourselves Illinois Destinations Association. And when given the opportunity to have to introduce our special guest today, I jumped at the opportunity first off. And then I, once the high came down, I realized, uh, how do you introduce somebody that really needs no introduction? Uh, and so I turned to my six-year-old son, Joe, this morning. Uh, and I asked him, you know, hey, Joe, he's eating his frosted donuts. I said, I have a very important job today to him introduce really the, the boss of the state of Illinois, trying to put in terms for the six-year-old. I said, I was thinking about opening with a joke, and he goes, Daddy, you're not that funny. So uh, the reality check set in, so I thought, OK, what should I talk about, Joe? He says, we well, should talk about hockey. OK. Uh, and so uh, we're going to talk a little bit about hockey for a second. And uh, I was talking to some of you last night. What many of you don't know is that my men's league beer hockey league team was playing in the championship game last night. And we lost 5-1. to one. Uh, and after I learned who was not there, it was kind of came uh, clear to me as to why we lost. And, and we didn't have one of our big guys, not me, another big guy that really sets the tone, that protects the players, that rallies the team. And that can be a, a significant leadership loss to a team, as we've learned. So uh, with that, that person leads the team as well. They need somebody that sets the tone. And right now, we have somebody in Springfield that sets that tone for us for the, for the realm of tourism. Enforcer, per se, but our chief marketing officer for the state of Illinois. Starts with Daniel and his team at the Illinois Office of Tourism, and all the way up to Director Richards. You know, we cannot do this without this partnership. And above there is the setting the tone from the governor's office. And the tone was set once again recently with the governor's budget address this spring. The message was sent clearly that we're just not going to sustain tourism, we are going to continue to grow that tourism. And we see it by the fact that we have LTCB continue to be supported. Marketing partnership, $2 million. Tourism attraction, 1.8. Private sector grants, 600,000. Route 66, 4 million. International, 1 million. IOT, 44 million. That's setting the tone. That's what we need. And we're proud to have that representation in Peoria today. All of this goes to supporting a multi-billion dollar industry in the state of Illinois, of which all of us are a part of and continue to grow. And so to present our thanks and just a token of that appreciation for our chief marketing officer for the state, we have a couple of gifts that we're going to invite up to present to him. But as a whole, this is teamwork. This is partnership. And to speak a little bit more to that and receive this token of appreciation, please welcome to the stage our chief marketing officer, our governor of the state of Illinois, J.B. Pritzker.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you to JD. Thank you to, to Daniel. Uh, and I, I might, I will need that bat. I'm on my way to Springfield <laughs> right after this. 177 members of the General Assembly, we need to get that budget through. Uh, I, I am very grateful to be here. I love Peoria. Uh, I love talking about tourism. I love promoting tourism for the state of Illinois. And so this is maybe one of my best days uh, being here with all of you. Um, I, I do very much appreciate uh, not only the, the gift, the award, uh, but also the opportunity to meet some of you, uh, to get to know you. And I have to say, uh, you all do such a spectacular job, and I hear about it everywhere I go. So I just want you to know how positive a feeling uh, it is to be among you and also uh, the reflection of the work that you do that I hear about everywhere I go. You know, after five years um, as governor of this great state, I am truly struck again and again by the challenges that we have overcome, all of us together. The tourism industry, perhaps more than any other, has seen dramatic highs and lows during the last five years. Um, and that speaks volumes to the resilience and perseverance of every single person in this room and your colleagues around the state and who represent us around the world. Together, we've gone from um, a COVID-induced recession that caused the most difficult challenges uh, that I think the tourism industry may have ever faced, or certainly in generations, to a recovery that is now shattering tourism records. Last year alone, I think you know, Illinois' hotel industry set a record of $5.5 billion in revenue um, for a total tourism industry economic impact of $78 billion just here in the state of Illinois. Uh, with our Middle of Everything campaign starring Jane Lynch, uh, who is just as pleasant in person as she is in the ads, uh, to the recently launched Real People, Real Stories, Real Outdoors content series. We are letting families and adventurers across the nation see how spectacular Illinois is. And with the tens of millions of dollars that we're investing in restoring the natural beauty and visitor facilities of Illinois' 69 state parks, the promotion of our fabulous culinary scene all across the state, and grants to our state's theaters and art scenes and our shopping districts. People across the region, the world, and the, the, uh, uh, the state and the world are uh, heeding our call. Uh, last year, 14 million more people joined us in the middle of everything here in Illinois, bringing our total visitors to 111 million people. And rest assured, we are not letting up on our endeavor. Just this month, I announced another $4.6 million in grants to 20 tourism organizations across the state. And that, of course, is in addition to the tens of millions of dollars in small business support grants that we continue to issue to support the industry directly, like festival grants and tourism marketing uh, grants and incentive grants, international tourism, promotion, you heard Route 66 projects, and of course, more than $2 billion of Rebuild Illinois funds for resorts and parks and roads and bridges that visitors are taking to get there every single day. And just last month, I designated the first 10 state cultural districts eligible for special funding to increase economic development in areas of historic significance. These 10 districts across the state recognize cultural enclaves and rich Illinois history that visitors deserve to have access to and enjoy. And next year we'll designate five more, expanding the program's impact and investing in more communities and small businesses where it's needed most. Again and again, when I'm promoting Illinois to national and international leaders, I hear the same feedback from those who've recently visited our state. They say Illinois has some of the kindest and most decent and hardworking people that they've ever had the pleasure to meet. 
And every single time I hear that sentiment, I have to say I'm truly deeply flattered on all of our behalf, but I'm also not at all surprised. Just look around this room and think about the work that you do every single day. You all have met the moment and you've gone above and beyond the call of duty to welcome visitors and make this industry in this state stronger than ever before. You are the best advertisement for our state. No matter how many dollars we spend on TV, it's your interactions with people, your staff's interactions with people that make all the difference. And of course, the people of Illinois interacting with visitors from other states and other countries. I, I have often seen for some of you who spend time in Chicago, I've often seen a, a visitor who's you know, looking at their phone or a map, uh, an actual paper map, if anybody even carries those anymore, and I see them occasionally, um, where people are kind of turning it this way and that way, trying to figure out where they should go. They don't know which direction that thing is that they're trying to get to. And some kind person will just stop and help them and tell them, oh, you know, two blocks that way, or, you know, let me walk you there. That doesn't happen in New York. It doesn't. It doesn't happen in San Antonio. It doesn't happen in Florida. It happens in Illinois, and it happens everywhere in Illinois. It's the people of Illinois that really make such a difference. So thank you. Thank you to every person in this room and to all the travel and tourism professionals across the state of Illinois and who represent Illinois. Thank you for our, um, the work that our Office of Tourism, uh, Daniel and others, uh, do and to the DCEO director, Kristen Richards, for her steadfast leadership. Um, we have amazing heights to reach. We're not there yet. I intend to be the biggest supporter and cheerleader of the work that you do. I'll continue to do that. I want to, I'll embarrass myself by telling you that when I came into office, I had I knew immediately that we needed to invest in tourism for the state of Illinois. I mean, it has the greatest return for the state, for businesses in our state, of almost any investment that we can make to promote our economy. And uh, so I put everybody to work. We've got to start advertising uh, and marketing our state and all the great things about our state. So people went back into a dark room at DCEO and uh, came up with, you know, and worked with an outside firm and came up with a plan. Uh, and they came back with some commercials that they had put together, some ads that they wanted to show me. And they showed them to me and they were, you know, the, you've heard the tagline, the middle of everything. And, uh, and I thought it was just fantastic. So they're on the verge of uh, putting these ads out and it's late February of 2020. Do you remember late February of 2020? <laughs> yeah, being in the middle of everything was not a great tagline <laughs> for February of 2020. So I'm only embarrassed that I approved the whole thing. I'm happy we didn't put any of those ads on the air uh, at that time, uh, but at the right time, I think we did, um, or at least I know we chose the right time to put them on and truly, uh, you all have made them successful. People are coming to the state of Illinois. Um, it's the first time that I've ever heard of people saying I saw an ad about coming to the state of Illinois, right? I mean, we all know pure Michigan. We all know, you know, the ads that you hear for, for destinations across the world. Uh, but for once, uh, people are really talking about I didn't know Illinois had all of that, and I'm excited to go visit. So thank you for making that possible for everybody, and I look forward to being your partner in the years to come. Thanks, everyone.